Hey guys, my name is Derek and you're watching Always En Route. We want to thank you for following us along in this video. We're thankful for all our recent subscribers and our old subscribers as well. The channel's growing slowly, but surely. In this video, Tammy's gonna be making some of her really good keto recipes. I also wanna give you some advice on what to do when somebody has to take over driving in some kind of an emergency. This week, we're getting ready to take another trip to Tennessee. We're not gonna be taking the Airstream with us, but we will be flying out there. We're gonna be seeing a whole bunch of cool things while we're there, just to prepare you for the next video. So thanks again for following us along, let's go. All right, we're gonna talk about one of the things that we came across, one of the things, one of the recipes that we came across or one of the foods we came across we were at a brazilian steakhouse on our keto diet of course flame fire flame fire with the food that they give you that come to the dinner table and they uh they give you these biscuits and we were like what are these things they're so good they were like chewy cheesy things which you know could be keto like so we're you know i had tammy the other day i was like hey you need to figure out how to make those things so she got online figured it out and I'll show you what she did. These things are so good. These are one of the best things she's ever made. Talk about bready and just rich and just so good. So let me show you what she's got going on here. So what is the ingredients on these things? So it's mozzarella, coconut flour, baking soda, egg, and cream cheese. Cream cheese is the um, secret ingredient, I think. Anyway, and so it's, it's super simple. Like I have I always have those ingredients in the house. You can actually like I made a double batch, so I cooked up. He actually ate like I don't even know twelve of them the other night. <laughs> okay, I might have had a couple, but he probably ate ten. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Annie. So I'm just um, making up another batch to have with our spaghetti that we're gonna have tonight. So. Um, so yeah, you just roll them in a ball and you stick them on some parchment paper and you throw them in the oven for like... What are the ingredients though? I just said the ingredients. Did you not hear me? And you form these little biscuit balls, yeah, if you will. Yeah, you just will. form a little ball. And the nice thing is if you don't use all the dough or whatever you want to call this, um, you can just make up however many you want for what that meal and then, you know, make more later. So it just stays good in the fridge, which is great. Hers, when she baked them in a regular oven, they browned on top and the bottom. Mine, you know, because it's an RV oven, they only browned on the bottom. So what I did was, once they were brown enough on the bottom, I just flipped them over. So they browned on both sides. So, and that seemed to work just fine. They gave them a really good crunchy. Like a crunch, yeah, on the outside, which was super yummy. Because, you know, bread. Have you ever been to one of these Brazilian steakhouses and you, you've had these? They are, they are. They are really, really good. So uh, once they're done, take a few minutes to cook them. We'll show you what they look like. I can't obviously tell you what they taste like, except really good. <laughs> and uh, we'll we'll put a link in the description of where found what Tammy found this rest this recipe. Ooh, hot. All right, back in. Okay, so this is the final product. There they are. Nice and browned on both sides. Ooh, oh, hot pan. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, they're really good. So good. Yeah, Brazilian cheese bread. This is very close. Can, yeah, you can get keto version or you can get like the bad version, which yeah. the bad version probably is really yeah. good. <laughs> well, they are good. They're, they're obviously different tasting, but they're very good for... At first, I think the first time we had them, we were so confused because we thought they were like little bread muffins that they brought to the table. We started eating. We're like, what is this? I literally had to look it up like... What is this bread at the Brazilian steakhouse? And then they talk about the Brazilian cheese bread. So anyway. Very good. Yeah. So we had this little incident. And it's really something we should all think about. So whoever is the driver in your family... Have you ever thought about what would happen if something happened to that driver? Like that driver got sick, had to be hospitalized for whatever reason. Who knows? Heart attack, broken leg, whatever. Got hit by a car, crossing the intersection. Who knows? Well, this came up with us recently, real recently. I think that we don't want to think about happening, but it's a very possibility that could happen and it's something we have to deal with. I think it's an important discussion to have. Now for me and Tammy, she has driven our rig 
<laughs> if you go back to our older videos, we were in uh, Arizona and I had this real bad case of vertigo. Yeah, I could not drive. I could, it's like driving extremely drunk. So I could not drive at all. We had to move on. So Tammy had to drive for the first time. She got a real quick lesson. I actually did try to drive, which was probably not the smartest thing. I don't, I don't think I made it maybe a mile or two before I had to pull over. She got a real quick lesson in pulling the Airstream. She did fine. I was sitting next to her and, you know, just telling her what she needed to do as far as driving goes. But it's more than just driving. What if you're boondocking and uh, you need to figure out how to attach your trailer to the truck? Even the most basic things, I know it sounds silly, but it's not because Tammy usually does everything inside the Airstream and I do everything on the outside. There's a lot of things that she doesn't know how to do. I mean, as simple as, you know, make sure when you're towing the Airstream that you push the, the tow haul button on the side. Once you put it in gear, push the tow haul button. That helps with braking, that helps with climbing hills. And if you don't do that, you'll notice it because it doesn't stop as well or it doesn't uh, climb as well. It isn't in the right gear to climb hills. Even just how to attach the, the chains and or the braking system, you know, the cable with the brake, because it scares me when I think about, wow, man, we could really be doing something and this could be bad if uh, something does happen. And, and then, you know, where are we gonna put the Airstream? That was the next question. You know, you could be out in the middle of nowhere. Where are you gonna put it? I know it's like one of those subjects we don't like to talk about because we hope nothing ever happens. We never think that something could happen, but if it does happen and you're out there, what are you going to do? So it's like, so whoever is the driver and the other one doesn't know how to do the other stuff, I think it's important that we learn that stuff uh, so we can, in an emergency, we can deal with it. Kind of a weird subject. It's something we had to address and now we've addressed it. Hopefully she won't have to do it, but it's something that maybe she needs to practice more every once in a while, showing her how to do certain things. And then uh, if the, the situation does arise, she'll have to deal with it. Important thing. So just a thought. Right, so we're going to head out to the store today. Tammy's going to buy a little mini waffle maker. She's going to be making this awesome keto dessert. Dessert is one thing that you can make with this, but today she's going to be making something called a chaffle. It's going to be more of a sweet chaffle, if you will, and it's really good. We had it the other day, and we were totally shocked at how good it was. So for people that are into the keto or low-carb uh, meals, recipes, you're going to want to see this. picky because I don't want a red one. But it's so, cheap. It's cheap. Cheap. Well, well, they have this green, which I don't want that either. So I'm going to see if they have more of them over here. Oh, oh, wait, wait. There's more over here. It looks like they only have these two colors. These are the little waffle makers. We'll go with the minty. Even though you don't want that color. I don't want this color, but you're gonna go I looked on Amazon and the silver ones are, you know, ones that kind of match the Airstream. I was like trying to get everything like silver. stainless steel. Stainless steel, whatever. This is only thirteen dollars. Right. We're going with it. This is what we're getting. Okay, so Tammy is going to be cooking keto carnita tacos. Tacos. This is the carnitas. So what we use are these um, folio cheese wraps. So you can get them in. There's cheddar, Parmesan. I'm not sure if there's another one or not. But anyway, so what you do is they, you know, these ones here, you can like use them as a wrap, make like a sandwich, or you can microwave it. And if you microwave it, then you, and you take it out and you fold it like a taco, then it stays in that shape and it's like a crunchy taco shell. That's what we're having today. So you just have to let it cool for just a minute because it's like burning hot. And you take it and you bend it, and there you are. You have a taco. So I'm trying to use up some of our last ingredients. Well, you all probably don't know. We're going on a trip to Tennessee and I'm trying to use up all the food in the house. So recently, 
I found chaffles. Now I know they've been around for a while, uh, but I've never cooked them before. So the other day I made chaffles. We were make, having burgers, so I, I decided let's just go ahead and do the chaffle thing for the bun. It came out great. It was fantastic, super yummy. And at the same time, I also did these chocolate chip, kind of like a sweet chaffle. They were good, but the chocolate because of the waffle maker it was a bit burnt like it was like a burnt chocolate flavor and I'm like, that's not my favorite today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make more of a like a cake chaffle they call it so I follow these gals called keto twins on YouTube and they have a recipe for it so I already have all the everything together in the bowl we'll link in the description to the actual video that I'm following but it's pretty basic I mean once you have your ingredients you have this little tiny um it's a little baby waffle maker so once I get this mixed together we'll start scooping and making these little guys and then um we've got some keto ice cream we're gonna what's the main ingredients in a chaffle it's egg and cheese egg plus and cheese. other things right plus other ingredients and it goes into a waffle maker that's what yeah I would call it chaffle is because of cheese, a cheese waffle cheese and basically waffle, yeah. yeah I guess yeah all right let's give it a go I haven't used this before, so I'm not exactly sure exactly how much to put in here, so I'm kind of winging it. We'll go with two scoops of this. Hopefully it won't spill out. This is the brand of like keto ice cream we like. It's They have really good flavors and it tastes really good. So Rebel, you gotta check out Rebel. Here we go. Chaffle. It's all awful chaffle chaffle. <laughs> all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Again, we want to thank you for following us along. If you like the video at all, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And again, we will be traveling out to Tennessee this week, so we'll be taking you along with us. Hopefully, we'll be seeing some really cool stuff. Until the next video, take care of yourself. Stay safe and just be a good human.